Hello, my name is Dr. Cindy Becker and I'm a lecturer in the Department of English Literature at the University of Reading. Today I want to talk to you about the rhythm of poetry. First we can look at metre. This describes how a poem sounds when you read it out loud. I'm going to be looking with you at several forms of metre, but I want to look first at the most common, iambus. In English poetry, this is made up of two syllables, that is two sounds, the first being shorter and softer than the second. So if I read it out loud to you, I'm sure you'll recognise it straight away. It sounds like this. Da-dum, 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 da-dum. Very common. So, next let's see it in action. I've taken a famous piece of a poem and I'll read it out loud to you, humming up the expression so you can really hear how Iamba sounds. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. I'm sure you can hear how that sounded. Another way you can look at rhythm is to think about metrical feet. A metrical foot is simple. It's just made up of two or three syllables. So in the example I just gave you, there were five metrical feet in each line. So now it's not just an iambus. We can call it verse in iambic pentameter. Iambic is the rhythm pentameter tells you how many feet there are in each line, in this case five. Iambic pentameter is probably the poetic rhythm which is most easy to recognise. It's very common in poetry, plays and in hymns. It's a very natural rhythm to the human ear. It's the way very often we speak when we're just speaking normal words rather than in poetry. It's also why we can remember hymns long after we've learnt them because they feel so natural to us. So let's move on from iambus to some other feet that you might find useful. A trochee is two syllables in each metrical foot and the stress is on the first syllable. So in effect, it's an inversion of iambus. A dactyl has three syllables per metrical foot and the stress again is on the first syllable. In the amphibrach, again we have three syllables, but this time the stress is on the middle syllable. And the very rare anapiste, which is the last one I want to look at with you, this again has three syllables in the metrical foot and the stress is on the very last syllable. You won't see that one too often. When I was at school and I was trying to remember these, somebody gave me a poem which I found really useful because it demonstrated each of these rhythms in each line of the poem. And I remembered it and I've never had a problem with rhythm since, so I'm going to share it with you now. Again, I'll read it out loud so you can see how this works. I am bus comes with steady pace. Soon the trochee takes its place. Then comes the dactyl on pattering feet. The amphibrach next with its stressed middle beat. And then last but not least is the rare anapiste. I hope you'll find this useful in trying to work out the rhythm of poetry. Thank you for listening.